today we're going to start my NHL collection and of course I'm basing it on my hometown team of the Ottawa Senators and this is just a character based on your own favorite player. For our Senators player we are going to need our standard rainbow loom in the offset position where the pins are staggered and the bands we'll be using are black, clear, skin tone, red, white, and silver. And we're going to start with the attachments. And the only attachments we have for this are the arms and the legs. So we're going to start with the arms first. And for that we are going to need red, white, and black. And we'll start with red. We need two bands everything will be doubled so we're going to put two red bands from the first to the second peg and we're going to do that twice so again from the second to the third peg I just want to straighten these up next we are going to put two white bands followed by two black bands and for the hockey glove we are going to use three black bands so we want to put three black bands on the last peg we're going to cap this with a single black band wrapped three times around the peg and we need to do the same thing for the other side two red bands going two times down the left side followed by two white bands and two black bands followed by three black bands to represent the hockey glove and we're going to cap this with a single black band wrapped three times around the peg Now before we loop what we want to do is we want to take a single black band and wrap it four times around our hook so that we have four loops on our hook and we're going to reach in and grab the first three bands for the glove and loop them forward the next two bands of his sleeve and when we grab the white bands we want to stretch these black bands down over the white ones before we loop it ahead over the peg above and then we can finish looping and again we want to take a single black band and wrap it four times around our hook and we are going to loop in and remember the first loop we are grabbing three bands and looping them forward we want to make sure that we're forming our teardrop shape and when we get to the white bands we want to slide all four loops of our black band down over the white bands and then we can continue looping and we will finish the arms set these aside on a holding hook so I'm just going to use my holding hook and remove these from the loom. And we can set these aside. For the leg attachments, we are going to be using red, white, silver, and black bands. And we are going to take two red bands from the first to the second peg and these are to represent the socks and the skates so we need two red, two white followed by two red and for the skate blades we are going to use two silver bands and we will cap this with a single black band to represent the boot part of the skate and we are going to wrap this three times around the peg. 
We want to do the same thing for the other leg. So again, we're going to take two red bands, followed by two white bands. Again, two red bands and two silver bands, which we will cap with a single black band wrapped three times around the peg. And we can loop these, again reaching inside our cap band and grabbing both bands and looping them forward in a teardrop or raindrop shape. We want to make sure that we're grabbing both bands and again that we're forming the raindrop shape as we loop forward. And this we can put on our holding hook. And we'll set this aside as well. For our Ottawa Senator player, and actually all of my NHL players, we will need to have our looms in the aligned configuration, which means that all of the pins will be even with each other. And now we're ready to band our loom, and we're going to start with the helmet, which for which we will use black bands, and we want to start with the first peg in the center, going to the second peg in the center, and then we're going to go from the first peg in the center to the second peg on the left, and the first peg in the center to the second peg on the right. And we want to finish off our helmet by putting two black bands going once down the left side, and two black bands going once down the right. And finally, two black bands going down the center. For the visor of the helmet, we're going to use clear bands, and we need to put two clear bands from the third peg to the fourth on the left, the third peg to the fourth in the center, and the third peg to the fourth on the right. Next, we are going to move down to the chin, and for this we will be using skin tone bands, and we want to put two skin tone bands going down the center, two skin tone bands from the left to the center, and two skin tone bands from the right to the center. For the neck, we're going to use black bands, and this is to represent the, uh, the neck protector that they wear. And then we will go down using three bands for the neck. Next, we want to move on to the jersey. And for that, we'll be using red bands. And we are going to put two red bands going down the center. And we are going to do that four times. We're going to move over to the left side and we're going to put two red bands from the seventh peg down on the left side to the sixth peg in the center. And the same thing on the right side, two red bands from the sixth peg in the center 
to the seventh peg on the right. And now we want to go down the left side three times with two red bands. We want to do the same thing on the right. Two red bands going down the right side three times. Now you may have noticed that this jersey is plain and if you've seen any of the logos you will know that the majority of them would be pretty difficult to design this small with this few amount of pegs. Obviously the Montreal Canadiens with just the letter C would be fairly simple, Boston perhaps with the letter B, but because the majority of them are too um, detailed to incorporate into this, we're just going to leave them plain. And we are going to now move on to the shorts, or I guess they're hockey pants, even though they're shorts. We're going to move on to the shorts, or I guess they're called hockey pants so my husband tells me. And we're going to take two black bands continuing down the left side two times. And we are going to go down the center with two black bands one time going down the center. And we will continue on the right with two black bands going two times down the right side. Next, we want to go to the top of his hockey socks and we want to put two red bands on the last two pegs on the left and two red bands on the last two pegs on the right. And to finish off the hockey pants, we're going to put two black bands from the second peg on the left to the third peg up from the bottom in the center and two from the second peg on the right to the third peg in the center. Now we're ready for our attachments. And the first ones on my hook here are for his skates and his hockey socks. So one is going to go on the last peg on the left, and the other will go on the last peg on the right. And the arms one is going to go on the seventh peg down from the top on the left and the seventh peg from the top on the right. And now we're ready for our holding bands and we are going to take a single black band and go around the second pegs down from the top. We want a clear band around the third pegs down from the top and a skin tone band around the fourth pegs from the top. We're going to move down to the shirt or the jersey I guess and we will put a single red band around the eighth pegs down from the top and around the ninth pegs and we want a black band to go around the tenth pegs and the eleventh pegs. And now we are ready to loop and we are going to start at the bottom and we want to reach inside our attachment and we're going to grab the bottom two bands and loop them forward on both the left and the right side. And next we want to reach in and grab the top two bands which we're going to loop over to the center on the left and the right. And now we can continue and loop up and we're going to loop up the left side making sure that we stay inside our holding bands that we're grabbing both bands and that we're forming 
our teardrop or raindrop shape as we go. And we're going to loop up to the neck. We want to be careful at the shoulder that we grab only the bottom two bands. And now we are going to go over and loop up the right side. Again, making sure that we grab both bands as we loop our teardrop shape forward to the peg above. And again, we will loop to the neck. Again, making sure at the shoulder that we're only grabbing the bottom two bands as we loop over to the center peg. And now we can loop up the center. We want to reach inside all of these bands and grab the bottom two and loop them forward. And we are going to go straight up. And when we get to the neck, we want to remember that we've used three bands here for the neck protector. So we want to make sure we grab all three before we loop our teardrop to the peg above. And my bands are pretty tight, which is why it doesn't quite look like a teardrop. So I'm going to reach my hook in and loosen some of that tension. And there I have my teardrop shape. So next I want to reach in and grab the top two bands, which are going over to the right. The next two bands, which are going to go to the left. And the last two bands, which will loop straight forward. And now we can loop up the left side and we're going to reach inside and grab just the clear bands and loop them forward. Again, making sure we stay inside the holding bands and that we are grabbing just the bottom two bands and forming our teardrop shape. We can do the same thing on the right side, grabbing just our two clear bands for the first one, two black bands for the second, and two black bands for the last one to the center. And now we can loop up the final three links up to the center. We'll have one set of clear, followed by two black, and two black. And now we want to double check that we have looped all of the bands. And it's easy to tell if you look down the side. It's sometimes very obvious if you have missed a band and it doesn't look like we have. I wanted to use this as a perfect opportunity to show you how I use a broken band for a slip knot band. So what I want to do is join the ends of my broken band together so that they're even and I'm going to grab a hold of them so that I have the loop sticking out and I want to reach my hook down through the top center pin, grab a hold of the loop of my bands, and I'm going to pull it up through the center, and then I want to pull the two ends that are broken through the loop on my hook, I'll grab both ends, and give that a gentle tug. And that's all we're going to do. We can tighten it after we've removed it from the loom, which we can do now. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I will work my way up to the top. And I'm just going to reach in with my hook and release the bands from the pegs. And when I get to the neck, I know that it's fairly tight here with a lot of bands. So I'm going to put my hook straight down through the center of the peg and just roll my hook around that peg and they simply pop right off. So I'm going to continue and remove the rest of these bands. And when I get to the last peg, I'm again going to put my hook down the center and just roll it around the pin to remove the bands. And I can remove my hook. And he does need a little bit of tweaking. So I'm just going to give him a little stretch here in the head and helmet section. 
and the body and I'm going to stretch it a little bit sideways I am going to give him a little tiny tiny pinch at the waist we need to adjust his skates so again I want to first I'm going to straighten the cap band to make it even and then I'm going to put my hook down through the teardrop of my silver bands and I'm going to give that a little tug to the side so that the blades will be down and in essence be able to touch the ice and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side I'm going to spin this black band to even out my cap band I'm going to tug the silver bands to the side so that I'm defining the foot a little better and there you can see that by pulling the bands to the side you have clearly defined the feet from the rest of the body I also want to fix the bands on his arm and what we need to do with the two black bands that we pulled over our white is grab a hold of two of these loops and we're going to tuck our hockey glove through so that we have two loops in the front and two loops in the back and you can stretch them so that one is at the top of the white section and one is at the bottom and we can do that for both sides and that will just make his jersey look more authentic we need to do the same thing on the other side so we're going to grab two of the bands and tuck our glove through so that these two bands go to the other side of his arm and the stripes look like they're on both sides of his shirt and there we go and I want his arms to be down at his sides a little bit so I'm going to put my hook straight down through the teardrop at his shoulder and just give the bands a little tug and I want to do the same thing on the other side so I'm going straight down through the teardrop and just giving a little tug and I'll put this hand down and there you go and we need to tuck in our slip knot band so we're going to find a couple of bands at the back of his head grab a hold of the slip knot bands and just pull them through and there you have it this is our hockey player and if you followed my tutorials for making a hockey stick you can add this to this player and however you wanted him to hold it he could just simply hold it in one hand in which case we would just weave it through a couple of the bands on his hand or you could have him hold it with both hands and put it through a couple of bands down lower on the stick and a couple of bands higher on the stick it's however you would prefer him to hold it so I'm going to have him hold it in two places and I'm going to grab two bands here the front of his glove and I'm going to stretch them out so that I can tuck the end of the stick through and I want to bend his hand at the wrist a little like that and the elbow and then I'm going to grab a couple of bands on the other glove and I'm going to stretch these out so that I can tuck the stick through and once I get it through I can position it so that it's facing the right way as to how he would be holding it I need to turn the stick and bend his elbow and I want to bend this elbow down so that he's not holding the stick up so high so 
so I'm going to put my hook through the center and give the bands a little tug so that his arm is down a little bit. And again, like I said, I'm going to put my hand in the approximate area where I've joined the two sticks, or the two parts of the stick rather, so that the kink isn't as noticeable. And I need to straighten out my stick. And there you have it. This is my Ottawa Senators player. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. And please don't forget to like and comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say and what you think. And um, don't forget to subscribe. As I said, we'll be doing all 30 of the NHL characters. Um, I may not be doing goalies for all 30, but I certainly will be doing all players. And if you have a favorite team, let me know what it is and I can uh, move them up to the top of the list for the next tutorial. Or if you have a favorite OHL team, let me know and I can uh, do that as well. I thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.